to the podcast Stop Crying Poser. We do this podcast every single Friday, right around 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. But what in tarnation? We're over an hour late today because I was at the whiskey saloon last night for too long. And I slept in today. Uh, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another podcast. What did I say? Every single Friday, 3.30, right here on twitch.tv slash ninja lifestyle it's gonna be a terrible podcast i i hate to say it i hate to jinx it sometimes we say it's gonna be bad and it's gonna be good but you probably could do yourself a favor right now and just turn off turn off the phone turn off the the tv the desktop computer whatever you're watching this on look even my camera's fucking crooked what the hell what in tarnation fix the damn camera uh couple of topics the one that's <laughs> you know what fuck it let's do a trivia question you guys want to uh, win a couple of stickers so you can stick them on your titties and take pictures in the mirror for your Tinder profile? Oh, I would love to win some stickers. Well, all you have to do is answer this trivia question correctly and be the first one to answer it. And then I'll send these these stickers plus two more to the American address of your choice. All you have to do is tell me what is the largest turtle in the world? Turtle. The life of a turtle, man. I Speaking of turtle, man, there used to be the show called Turtle Man <laughs> where this guy would just go, oh, live action, and he would just go bother turtles and grab them by their fucking heads. He would reach into a, a hole in the fucking, I don't know, in the, in the lake, I guess, and there's holes on the outside of the lake. I don't know what they're called. He'd just reach in, grab a turtle. Even though these turtles are capable of ripping your fucking arm off, well, he don't care. He's live action. Desert Rat says Leatherback. Everyone else got it wrong. Galapagos Great White Turtle live action. Leatherback. Desert Rat, you are the winner. I know you live in Las Vegas, so this, I'll I'll send you one of my special new stamps that I got from the United States Postal Service. If you guys are buying stamps, I know a lot of people have no use for stamps, but I still pay uh, two of my bills that I get every month. I pay with a stamp, so I use uh, use stamps every, every two weeks. I got these stamps. One's like a mariachi themed book of stamps. They're the same price as other stamps, right? But they're like all these Mexican dudes with like guitars and weird fucking sombreros. And that that gets to be my stamp. And then I got these Day of the Dead ones where they're just a bunch of skeleton faces. So if you get a letter from me and it's got a skeleton face on it, that's better than just getting one with a fucking lame ass bald eagle. Ugh. Wasting my time with those stamps. Have you guys heard about what happened to Malone Brown? My Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> uh, moving on. Last weekend. <laughs> uh, last weekend, I went to a Jelly Roll concert. And it was packed. I've never seen Fremont Street. So Fremont Street is kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. It's Las Vegas. It's a big tourist destination where you go and you watch street performers and live music. And above you is all these cool lights that lights go off. And on the left side of you is bars and casinos and bars and casinos on the right side, left side, front in front of you, two story balconies. You can hang off and drink a beer, really fun place. And they have one stage in the middle. And I've been to a lot of concerts down there. Um, Some country shit. I saw Nelly down there one time, but I went to see Jelly Roll. Who's like this, I guess now you'd call him like a country singer, but he used to be a rapper. I don't know. Didn't do a whole lot of rapping. For that performance, but I will tell you, I've never in my life seen this many people on Fremont Street. It was so fucking fun. I had to wait in line. The line was about a mile long. Luckily, it was moving pretty quickly. We got in there. Uh, Everyone has face tattoos, (laughs) including the rapper Jelly Roll. He has face tattoos. So so you get a a, a weird mix of people, right? You get country people. Also, the rodeo was in town. So country people, rodeo people, face tattoo gang members. And then like Juggalos, because Jelly Roll tours with the Insane Clown Posse, like that group of people. So it was a really diverse crowd. It made for some great, like, some great people watching. And right away, right when I get in there, I see two fights immediately. I'll explain this to you guys, man. This one guy, whole face tattooed up, fucking like small, small, skinny, like Mexican dude, whole face tatted up. The other guy... Kind of looks like a dirty juggalo with long hair. Has like a homeless t-shirt on. So he's just one of those guys like, I don't care if I stink. And whatever it is, something happened to those guys. 
and they're looking at each other and the tattooed mexican dude just boop bops him right in the fucking mouth bam and the guy like stumbles back and gets up and he's like what's up man like let's fucking go boop bops him again <laughs> and then he gets up again he's like fuck you man let's fucking go and then there's a person in the middle of them now trying to trying to break them up boop hits him a third time <laughs> like that was the worst fight ever how you get in a fight you didn't even get to throw a punch you just got hit three times and then they got separated and the whole time i'm standing on my tippy toes because everyone's taller than me we're all shoulder to shoulder it was great a little pit opened up a little pit opened up so they could have a nice respectful fight and uh, eventually they, they split up and then not 30 seconds later i don't know what caused this to happen 30 seconds later there's still like a little bit of a pit because they're thinking that there's going to be another fight i look to my left some guy and some like older lady like like heavy set woman and some big fat dude this guy just grabs this chick's head and just shoves it he just goes whoosh <laughs> and the chick almost falls down i look over there i'm like what's happening now like this is the greatest concert ever like, we haven't even heard a single song yet <laughs> i got my beer in my hand just in just loving it and if i could explain fremont too as all this is happening like there's music playing there's lights going there's people zip lining over you. Zero. There's just so much like, like sensory overload. And I, I see this chick's head get pushed. She turns around like, what the fuck? And this guy's like, fuck you. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what caused that. But that nothing, nothing came of that. <laughs> but it's just, it's just funny, man. I don't know. This guy just said, oh, get fuck out of my face. So that happened. Saw the show. Um really interesting setup they had also though so the line you got to wait in line for let's say 20 minutes the line is 20 minutes long so they didn't have bathrooms <laughs> so if you want to go to the bathroom you have to leave the venue go to the bathroom and then get back in line so that was kind of fucked up and as you can imagine people found a way to piss because nobody wants to wait in line that's my biggest i hate waiting in line if i go into like a restaurant or not a restaurant but like fast food and there's a line i will turn around and walk out like okay by my house there's an in and out and there's an arby's no one in their right fucking mind would ever go to arby's but sometimes you see that line and you're like well you know what dude i guess i'm gonna have to get a shitty fucking sad roast beef a beef and cheddar great you guys know arby's if you say it slow, Arby's. It sounds like the letter R and the letter B. Arby's. And what they sell is roast beef, which the initials are R and B. What were we talking about? Uh, the Jelly Roll concert. It was great, man. People were, we would drink the beer, and this guy was like, hey, man, let me fucking, let me get all your beer cups. I'm like, oh, for what? He's like, oh, I, I, just, I just want them. Turns around, starts pissing in them. Pees in these beer cups, sets them down on the ground. S I'm sure one of those fell, fell over. By the end of the show, people had broke through the barriers and there was no longer, it was a free show. But now all the, all the work they did to pat everyone down and metal detector everyone and make sure no one has drugs or guns, that was out the window after like the third song. People just broke the barrier down and now it's a fucking free for all. But if you guys, if you're curious, you can go to uh, Jelly Roll's uh, Instagram or YouTube channel and it shows an aerial view of the concert with like flames going off on on the stage from the zip line someone zip lined across in the middle of the concert holy shit dude there must have been fucking twenty thousand people out there ah maybe i'm exaggerating but there was a lot of people man easily five thousand for sure so that was my weekend uh oh yeah i showed up wearing my favorite shirt sakuraba my favorite fighter showed up my shirt I run into my friends. And I went there with a group of like five people: me, Rye Dog, Tony, China Mac, uh, this chick Sierra, uh, Kobe Kobe, and uh, T Top. We all have weird nicknames. I don't fucking know. They they would call me Ninja. <laughs> I show up, man. We're in a big group of people. I wear my favorite shirt. Why? I don't know. I'm, I'm watching one of my favorite artists. I'm gonna wear my favorite shirt. I show up. They say we brought you a shirt. I go, oh, great. Fuck you. Extra large fucking shirt. They're like, this is this is our bachelor party. I'm like, why didn't no one tell me it was a bachelor party? I would have fucking not came. <laughs> I'm kidding. It was all it was actually the lamest bachelor party I've ever been to. But at least we got to see a great artist. But yeah, I had to wear this shirt that said beer beer me. I'm with the, no the it said groom's beer. Fuck, I don't know, man. Something about the groom, and I'm supposed to give him beer. The the groom, the the groom's beer squad. Something stupid. 
So I'm wearing that shitty shirt over my favorite shirt, which the, it's, it's too big. And I put it on, I start sweating, thousand degrees outside. I don't know why, this damn global warming. I thought it was a joke. But you know what? It's hot. It's been hot lately. Although at nighttime, it's been great lately. Um, so that was fun. Bachelor party, we hung out. I actually went home at like uh, midnight. I got so fucking hammered over there because two of the guys, I know this is kind of weird. I'm not taking advantage of my friends. But there's this like unwritten like law in the world where it's like, okay, two of my friends make like 60 bucks an hour. So, and they never come to hang out, right? You're married. You can't fucking come out. You know, you, you live far away. Okay, cool. You guys make 60 bucks an hour. Basically, the beer's on you guys. Okay, 10 bucks a beer down there. It's kind of like expensive. I can't buy fucking, I can't buy two rounds for people. That's $150. But yeah, so they bought all the beers. We got all the beers. I got fucking shammered. And while I was waiting in line, I actually had to give a beer away. I was like, hey, listen, I'm not going to be allowed to bring this beer into the venue. You want this beer? And he's like, why? I'm like, it's free and it's not open. It's a tall can of Bud Light. You can have this. He's like, well, what's the catch? I'm like, there's no fucking catch. Hurry up. I'm glad they're about to metal detect me. Take this beer. I get in there, man. Anyways, by midnight, I was just hammered, dude. Took a took an Uber home. It was nice. You gotta love the Ubers where nobody says anything, man. Get in the Uber, I'm like, hey, how's it going, man? Uh, how's your night been? Mm, no response. <laughs> I'm like, okay, it's gonna be one of those rides. You better give me a fucking five, okay? Because I'm in your domain. If you want no one to speak, I'm great. I can look on it. I can play on Instagram. I can look at my little comments and look at my pictures. I can go on Facebook. So that was, that was my weekend. Other than that, though, very uneventful week. Uh, I've been hanging out with the dog a lot lately. Took the dog a couple places. He's good. Koopa's doing fine. Uh, yesterday, or not yesterday. On Tuesday, I learned how to slappy grind on a skateboard. Although, listen. <laughs> I, li okay, how do I explain this? I'm like, I'm uptight when it comes to landing a trick clean, right? You do a kickflip and you tic-tac, I'm calling you out. You do a heel flip, your toe lands on the ground or your heel drags on the ground, I'm calling you out. I think that's normal. I don't think, like I say uptight. I don't think that's uptight. I think that's just noticing what's happening. Boy, I did a slappy grind. I didn't realize there's a, I didn't realize there's a fucking university of slappies and all the professors came out of nowhere to explain to me how I'm doing it wrong. Mother, it, it must, all these old guys like, well, clearly you're fucking doing a fake slappy grind. Okay. These are from the same, you same uptight motherfuckers are the same guys that say, why well, you just skate to have fun? It doesn't matter if you're landing the trick clean. First off, it doesn't matter when you guys fuck up your kickflip because your old ass man legs can barely kickflip. But if I do a slappy grind and, and gently lift up one wheel too early, suddenly I'm doing a fake fucking slappy. Good. It's not about having fun. It's not about having fun. It's, it's about you. Uh, so I learned how to slappy grind. That was cool. I also, don't tell anybody this, it's still Gabe-tober. I have a video coming out where I blow the lid off this Gabe Cruz conspiracy. Um, <laughs> you guys are the first ones to know this secret information. I landed a trick that I'm going to challenge Gabe, but I'm going to do that on Monday. So mon on Monday, Gabe will have five days to land the, a trick of my choice. So you guys, uh, if you watch my channel, check it out on Monday. And if you follow Gabe on social media... Send send him the challenge, cause we're l listen. I'm I'm not fucking around with that dude anymore. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, so as I started the podcast, I go through the local news to see if we can find something interesting. You know, like uh, somebody gets hit by a car when they're when they're supposed to be learning how to use the crosswalk, or or a casino gets robbed, or oh somebody just hit one million dollars on a slot machine. You you guys know you you've been here before. We used to actually read a lot more news, but that was before COVID. Um, now that I think about it, this podcast, we've been doing this for a long time. Anyways, no news today, but I, I'm scrolling and scrolling and scrolling today. A lot of you guys were here for this because it was done live. I noticed this one article that says woman gets arrested for her seventh DUI on the same day as she has DUI court. I say, oh, that's fucked up, man. Seven DUIs. Like I got, uh, one of my acquaintances, Dylan is in prison right now for like five DUIs. And then, uh, who is it? Richie's brother, 
went to prison also for having like six DUIs. So whenever I read an article about seven DUIs, like what what are you doing? Whose dick are you sucking to stay out of prison? I click the fucking picture. It's this chick I know. This chick Marion, who I I used to hang out with her and this fool Nick B. We go swimming all the time. I'd always be at their apartment hanging out. And uh turns out it was her. <laughs> that bitch had seven DUIs. <laughs> I found out all the dirt on her too. They put all her information out there. She's been arrested 21 times. I can't wait. After this podcast, I'm going to text all my friends and send the picture. And then I went, while live, I went on my Facebook. I was like, boom, clicked it. I was like, dude, see, she's on my friends list and everything. So funny. I didn't know this bitch had two last names. Ooh, you've been lying about your name too. You've been lying about your DUIs, lying about your name, been, been to jail 21 times. And then, then I clicked the, uh, this, this picture of a, 15 sex offenders who had just been arrested. I knew every one of them. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's cool. You know, now I, now I have a famous friend. <laughs> I have a famous friend, famous for having fucking eight DUIs or whatever. Holy shit, dude. It, it pays to read the news, right? Because eventually, in a town, any town, any city, Eventually, you're going to see somebody you know on there. <laughs> that bitch, Marion. That's so funny, dude. <laughs> that just blew my mind. I'm like, I like had to do this move where I like rub my, my eyes. Is that you? <laughs> Crazy. Uh, yeah, only a couple more topics, guys. We're, we're really fucking, we're really stretching this out here. Uh, you guys know I've been smoking weed. You guys know I changed my ways on the W, the W-E-E-D. I've been watching movies and stuff on Netflix. And I think, I don't know if I'm just noticing what happens to me when I smoke the weed and watch the movie, but it's, I feel like for, for a lot of people, they watch the movie and they go, ah, oh, the movie's better. The, the action is more action packed. Maybe it's more like exciting. Dialogue's better. Like the filming is cooler, more vibrant. Storyline, like, oh, you really get into it. Not me. I start looking at these fools deep in their eyes. I'm like, you're acting. You're an actor. And I'm like, who wrote this fucking dialogue? Why is this guy walking so fast? I notice every little thing about every fucking character and it ruins it. I spend so much time wondering like why, why this guy's hat why this guy's hat looks the way it does. That I missed the whole plot. I've been watching this uh this show called um The Sinner. It's on like its fourth or fifth season. I don't even remember. Like I started watching it years ago and now I don't even know what the fuck is going on. But I only watch Netflix typically after I do my uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday live stream. So I get off there on 1 or 1.30, throw on Netflix. I throw on the show that I have no idea what's fucking happening, but since I started it, I must finish it. It's weird OCD shit. I must finish this shitty fucking series. And every time they ask this fucking fool a question, he's just like, Ugh, uh, 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 I, I think I want to get another look at that police report uh and the whole time like why is this fool groaning so much why can't he answer the question every time he talks he's groaning what what a terrible fucking character like just groans you see like i always say there's a lot of things out there that just waste time right we do ninja review every single saturday and these skaters when they roll up to a skate spot you know, it shows them rolling for eight fucking seconds, and they do a flat ground kickflip, and you go, why? You wasted my time. If you wanted me to see the kickflip, just show the kickflip. Well, the same thing, I get the same thing goes off in my brain where I go, why are you grumbling? You just say the fucking line. Uh, I think we should check in the river to see uh, if there's a weapon. Oh, my God. So much groaning. Everything you say is a groan? Fuck. I hate that shit. So for me, the weed, the weed does not help. I just had this problem. Well, let's go back a topic to the slappies. Before I learned this skateboarding trick, I, how stupid of me. I go on YouTube and I type in how to slappy. Slappy trick tip. My God, I got the most trash trick tips I've ever seen in my life. So I've made a lot of trick tips. I have a whole playlist on how to learn how to skate, how to learn tricks. And you want to know how I teach you how to learn the trick? I say, hi guys, I'm going to teach you this trick. Uh, to start, you should already know how to do this trick. Put your foot here, your foot here. Visualize this. This is how it looks. Here it is in slow-mo. Watch it. Watch this video a few more times. Voila, ta-da, it's over. Motherfucker, this new vlog, the vlog era, 
of skateboarding has ruined trick tips. I swear to God, we watched a slappy trick tip and this guy goes, Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today we're going to learn how to slappy and uh, <laughs> you're making me laugh. You're making me laugh. So <laughs> I don't like, we, I'm, I'm usually not on camera. Okay, so when, when I do the slap, <laughs> okay, 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 when I do the slappy, it's just such a nice day out. It's such a nice day out today, man. It's, it's a good day for me to teach you guys how to slap, slappy. When I first did a slappy, it was, it was about five years ago. It was windy that day, so I was wearing my favorite blue hat, and it had flown off. <laughs> Why am I saying this? I don't know. Uh, so you roll at the curb at a medium speed, it, but it, it it could it doesn't have to be a a curb like a ledge or like it maybe it could be slanted. Or sometimes, well, one time I did it and it was raining. I'm like, my God, please Jesus, just tell me how to do the trick. And then I find out every one of these videos is eight minutes and thirty seconds. I think to myself, huh. Why is every trick tip eight minutes and 30 seconds? Well, that, that's, that's easy. That's, that's easy to answer. When you make a video eight minutes long, you're able to add multiple advertisements so you can make more money off it. You know, so that's why, the, that's why when someone stutters on a video, they don't, they, rather than edit the video down to what you need to know, we need to make an eight minute long fucking monologue about what, what the weather was like three years ago when you first did a slappy. I swear to God, one of these, one of these tutorials, and I, I hope, whoever made it, I hope you're fucking watching. They're like, this curb's wet. It's like, it's like I waxed it, and then the side of it's not wet, but the top of it, the raindrops are still on the top of the curb. That's kind of weird. Who fucking cares? Why the fuck? It, it, did I type in wet curb tutorial? No. I just want to learn how to land the fucking skateboarding trick. My God. I swear it was, it, it was a whole video about the, oh, how wet the curb was. Oh, shit. Oh, man, it didn't help either. Dan, if you're watching this, I clicked fucking eight videos. The first seven of them was the same guy teaching the same trick on different people's channels. This guy just goes from city to city doing slappy trick tip tutorials on every skateboarding YouTube channel. I can't wait till I see him again. I can't, first thing I'm gonna say to him, hey, you wanna do a slappy tutorial? Mm, yeah, let's, let, you know, tell me about the weather. Actually, you know what? First off, let, let, tell me about your, tell me about your upbringing. Tell me like, how, what was, what was like kindergarten like? And then go, go through the age, and then right at the end, like how old you were, what was your first job? First girlfriend, first kiss, ever been in love? Had your heart broken? You have any dogs? What's your mom's name? What does she do for work? What's the worst job you've ever had? Do you like hot dogs? Do you like mayonnaise? Do you like mustard? And then when there's one second left in the video, at, at the seven minute and 59 second mark, I, then I'll be, like, I'll be like, go to the curb at a 90 degree angle and slap into it at the end. That'll be it. That'll be the greatest fucking trick tip. It'll, it'll be seven minutes and 59 seconds of, of just, just, just little stories, little story time, basically a podcast, little story time. And then with, the, with no time left at all, but oh, go at 90 degree angle and slap into the, then lift your front truck and then, then it's over. Fucking God, man. They're fucking assholes. L listen, I, I credit myself as being one of the first ever skateboarding vloggers on YouTube, it's especially when it comes to daily videos, because I was doing daily videos. One of the first people to ever do it. You w go back, watch all my videos. I edit them. In such a way, I cut out all the shit in the video that's not needed. So we used to have these vlogs called Ninja Life, where basically I go downtown, I get drunk with my friends, we all hang out, and then we go eat. Get, guess what's not in the video? I don't film us walking. I don't film the sky looking at the fuck. I don't film the wet curb. No. I, I do this thing with my mouse, my mouse and my editing program. I click all the boring shit and take it out. Not anymore. Not anymore, YouTube. I don't know who invented YouTube, but Jeff Bezos mixed with fucking Zucker bitch. You, whoever did, whoever made up this new shit, you're ruining the internet. You, can, you, can you imagine? Can you imagine if you look up a video called how to change a tire or how to fix your faucet? How to fix a broken toilet? And these motherfuckers spend half the video talking about, well, there's, there, I used to pee in this toilet. And uh, <laughs> don't don't tell anybody, but I also a uh, little doo doo. I made a little doo doo in this toilet before, and but but that was on a rainy day. Bitch, no one fucking cares. 
forget the damn wrench out and fix the motherfucking toilet. <sighs> Holy shit. That's all I got. Uh, starting on Monday, I'm going to, if you guys care, I'm going to lower the price on Cake Muscle skateboards. I want to get rid of all the, the skateboards that I have and be done with this stupid ass fucking idea. Um, I know that sounds like I'm in a bad mood. I'm not. Just COVID ruined my entire skateboarding operation, and I want to get rid of these decks. I think right now they're like $43 or $45. I'm going to drop them down to 30 bucks. So you can get a skateboard deck for 30 bucks. I think it's $15 shipping. You get a Ninja Lifestyle fucking cake muscle skateboard with a bunch of dogs on it. A lot of people hated that design. It was a great idea, but also COVID coincided with like shadow banning. And all the people that sent me pictures of their dogs no longer know that I have the internet. They think I'm dead. So that's great. Everything, as far as YouTube and selling skateboards, everything, it was the perfect storm of fuckery. So uh, the price of Cake and Muscle skateboards is going down. If you wanted a chance to buy one, you can buy it. It also comes with free stickers. And if you wanted to, I don't know why anyone would do this, but if you want to, I can write a, I can write a nice little message on there for you. I can write some of my thoughts. All you have to do is in, in shipping instructions, just write a little thing like, hey, write, write, write a little poem or write, write your name. Or draw a picture. I'll draw a picture on the top of the skateboard. On the part where the grip tape goes. Uh, just in case you wanted to hang up these fucking skateboards, man. I'm sick of these skateboards. Um, That's it. That's the podcast. Wait, we made it to like 28 minutes. Wow. I thought this would be a 10-minute podcast. And I started this podcast a little bit hungover. Now I feel great. I'm sweating. Got the blood pumping. Yeah, I want to go hang out with my dog. I might go to a restaurant with my dog. There's a there's a place called Big Dogs I can go to where they have uh you know just like bar food, burgers, wings, and shit like that. They they even have a poutine, a poutine for uh, the Canadian viewers. But they have an outdoor area where I can bring my dog. I can sit down. They even have a dog menu. The dog menu only has three items: water, uh, boiled chicken, and wild rice. I don't know why. Why is there? Why is it wild? It just, I've had wild rice a million times. It just looks like weird ass rice. What makes it so wild? You, you, you caught it wildly like in the forest. It's, oh, it's, it's, don't, don't get me. Don't catch me. I'm wild. I got you. Now I'll reserve you to a dog. I don't fucking know. But that's all I got. That's probably what I'm going to do tonight. Um, hope you guys are going to have a great weekend as well. Go ahead and give me a hell yeah. A hell yeah. So I can shout out everyone who tuned in. Uh, if you tuned in late, you can watch the repeat of this podcast on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday comes out 7 a.m. on YouTube, on Podbean, on iTunes, on the podcast app. And if you have iTunes, I wouldn't mind if you left a review and say, this is the greatest podcast I've ever seen. It changed my life. Uh, I met my wife because of this podcast. I was going to kill myself, but then I listened to this podcast and I giggled and now I'm staying alive. So just make some shit up. Make make some outlandish shit up and leave a leave a five star review or ten star. How many stars it is? Leave the most stars. Shout out to Grog, Infamy, J Zero, Some Game, Meatball Head, Guy Just, Desert, Rat, Skimpy. Uh, also shout out to J Rock for his thirty one months being subscribed. If you want to support the podcast, you can always send me money. I, I always will accept money. Send all the money that you have. But maybe that's not an option for you, so you can just tell a friend. Tell a friend about the podcast. We can get more viewers. We can get more watchers. We can share more laughs, more people involved. M you know what? May if anyone knows any like Saudi Arabian princes or like people in Abu Dhabi who are like billionaires, tell them to watch the podcast. One day I'll wake up to a million dollar donation, and then I'll just then I'll just live the, live the the fantasy life of gambling and hookers and drugs, and 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 I'll still stream. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, yeah, great podcast. Appreciate you guys. And uh, as I always say, don't drink too much, but don't drink too little. Malone Brown Dick. Yeah. <laughs>